I'm in the chicken coop, guys. I gotta get rid of this rodent problem, and I've been working on it. I've been working hard on it. I found a solution I wanna show you, because rats, they carry disease, they stress your chickens out, they'll kill baby chicks, they'll eat your eggs. Guys, you're with me here in the garage at Simple Laker Homestead. I wanna to talk to you today about rodents. Okay, so if you're on a farm, if you have a homestead, I know you know what I'm talking about. Anybody that's got animals and feed, um, you've got, you probably got rodents running around. So we've been dealing with them a little more than usual this year because we had, uh, we had a vacant home beside us for a few years that is now being remodeled and fixed up. And it seems like all of a sudden we have an influx of extra rodents. The grass is now being cut, the home is being taken care of. So they're on the move. So, okay, I have spent months, a pile of money, uh, watched a bunch of videos, scratched my head, got frustrated. Uh, rodents in the hen house, that, that's one of those things that just bothers the heck out of me. Um, I mean, there's obvious signs, uh, little, little tunnels in the corners. Our, our hen house, uh, by the way, is on ground. It's not elevated. If we were to start from scratch, it'd be elevated, but it was already in place when we moved here and we've kind of made it work. Uh, so there's tunnels that we've seen. Um, we also have a wireless camera set up in our hen house. So we, we've been able to capture footage during the, during the night where we have seen uh, rats making their way around the coop. And it's knowing makes it even harder because you want to deal with it. So how do you deal with that? Because you can't take your traditional trap and set it in a hen house to catch your rats. Because if you do, you're likely gonna catch your chickens. So we can't do that. So we tried putting them around the perimeter of our hen house with no luck. Uh, we caught the odd one, but for the most part, uh, no luck there. So then I went out and I bought three or four of these guys. Spent some money on these tunnel traps, the enclosed. Great idea. They're supposed to be pet friendly, children friendly. The idea is you put the bait in, you close it up, nobody gets their fingers in there, nobody gets their beak in there, their snout. The only thing I've caught with one of these is chipmunks. Uh, again, a rodent, but not the one I was after. Okay, so after that, I moved on to, and I hate to say it, I don't like using it, poison. But it was bothering me. I didn't want to use poison, so I made these, like I made these containers, put poison in them, and the whole time I'm concerned. I don't want these things to die, and a cat or a chicken or something to eat them, right? Because this is just. It's poison. You don't want poison around the homestead if you can help it. From there, I thought, okay, I'll try homemade poison. So I watched some videos, people that use uh, baking soda, baking powder, things like that to, to cause the bellies to swell up in the rodent and it won't harm other animals. It may have worked. I'm not sure. I never saw anything. Um, so I didn't, and I was still seeing the rodents. So I, I thought this isn't really effective enough for me um, so again I'm on a search for an idea we moved on to okay well something like this work well not really because a chicken a cat anything they can still go in from the end I mean it funnels the rat in better chance of catching a rat in the trap but it still won't work in the hen house so the live trap try the live trap these things are not stupid. Rats are not a stupid animal. Um, they seem to have a lot of wisdom when it comes to traps. Anything different, they avoid it. Um, anything, they, they can smell your scent. There's just, they just know. I don't know how they know, but they just know. But guys, here's the thing. I'm doing this video because I have found a solution. Gotta add this in guys, I forgot about these and we spent a lot of money on them. I had four of these electronic rat traps. 
So again, supposed to be pet friendly. I had these right in the coop. Uh, like I said, these rats are smart. I catch the odd mouse, but the idea is the rat goes all the way in. You put the bait at the back. It touches the uh, electro. Uh, it grounds out on the electrified plate. Kills the rat, hopefully. Maybe works for some guys, but I found the batteries don't last long, and yeah, it just it didn't work either. Oh, I got one more. I got one more trap I spent a pile of money on. You guys have probably seen them. The good old flip trap. Oh, throwing things around. Okay, so again, uh, it's, might not be a bad idea. This is winter time. This is Canada. The water freezes. It's probably better for mice, uh, rats. Um, I have watched some videos where they actually crawl right back out. So. I'm going to try it for mice in the summer, but I want to show you what actually is working for me. So last summer, I was butchering chickens and I watched a video on Justin Rhodes where he was feeding his chickens maggots. And the way he was doing this was putting the guts in the bowl, in the pail and hanging it in the chicken chicken run and as it as they decayed and the maggots uh, formed they would fall through he would he took the pail drilled out a bunch of holes in the bottom and the maggots would fall out and the chickens would eat them so I gave it a try free food for the chickens why not I had the pail still and the one day I walked by it and I had this idea to cut holes in the pail, as you can see here. So just four holes around the base of the pail, and what that allowed me to do was to set my traditional rat trap inside the pail where the chickens couldn't get to it, and you know what? I have to tell you this though first. I'm cutting the holes in this pail and I can still smell, this is months and months and months later, I can still smell carcass, like rotten meat. Um, I suspect maybe that's helped, but what I've found is I put this in, I put this in the, along the wall, they can either enter here and exit here or enter there and exit here, it doesn't matter either way. I put it there, I put the lid on it, I put a brick on it so the chickens can't bump it around and this thing three nights in a row so far I've been catching rats it has been my solution that is working for my it's for all these nights of scratching my head trying to figure out how do I get rid of these rodents this is it this is all it took a simple pail so if you have a drill and a hole got like a hole cutter for this one is meant for uh, for installing door handles if you have one of these that you can cut these holes it's perfect size for the rats and I'm telling you this this is working this is all it took I could have saved a pile of money I had the rat traps, the traditional rat traps. I mean, we all want to make a better rat trap. It just doesn't seem to happen. The idea now, though, is I can position it in here. It protects the chickens, and it's killing the rats. So, guys, uh, that's all you got to do. If you do this, I'm sure you'll catch your rats. And uh, it's, it's just so simple. So, anyway, I hope this video helps you. And please help us out, you know, share this video with anybody you think can find it useful. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, bump that uh, notification button, subscribe, anything you'll do to help us out. And uh, I hope this helps you. All right, guys, have a great day. Are ready? Anything I like to eat? <laughs>